So initially I bought this game for Ryan, my son Ryan, which is five years old. He's like in love with SpongeBob and I bought it for him so he could play it and stuff like that. Then I was kind of thinking about it. Well, you know what? Let me just bring a video on this game. And I even tweeted about it yesterday. And a lot of you guys told me that I should. Maybe if this video does well, then maybe we can make it into a series. But I'm not making this video with the intentions of this being a series. And maybe possibly I could even bring a video with Ryan himself, which... I think it would be actually pretty hilarious. Today is the official release date of SpongeBob SquarePants a Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Now, I never played the original. I've seen it everywhere. I remember going to GameStop and seeing the box. He had like the little army hat on and I just never really looked into it. But I hear a lot of great things about it. And of course, we've got the remastered version. Better yet, the rehydrated version. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. If you think we should make it into a series. And uh, I know this is very different from The Last of Us Part 2, but the show must go on. So, uh. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, so oh well. <laughs> <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait! <laughs> But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! First of all, why would you make something that has an option to not obey you? I've, I've just... Another I don't perfect know. day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schlosser, <laughs> but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? <laughs> sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Your bikini bottom stinks. <laughs> One of the main issues that people were complaining about, which is really not an issue yeah, at all, Gary. is the loading it screens. It sure looks but... like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm going to have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. All right, so these are actually the gameplay graphics, which look pretty good, okay? 
Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? I'm really happy that we don't have to necessarily read the dialogue to speak for us, which is a big plus. Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Press, I want to read the signs. Okay. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Explore the bedroom and explore the attic and explore the closet. All right, so here we are. <laughs> Welcome to SpongeBob SquarePants. This is awesome. Again, this is my first time ever playing this. We've got a double jump. Uh, I make myself a snack, but there's no time! <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> there are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very uh, valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along, along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest and defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Uh, red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in dangerous places. So I'm assuming these... I guess we can treat them like coins. Oh, this it's is cool. Shines. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I cannot deal with this. SpongeBob, maybe. Uh, let me see how well... He is doing by pressing R2. Uh, the number is on the upper right and how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number is in the upper center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. And finally, in the lower left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Okay. So this is pretty much just like a tutorial part of the game. Oh my god. Alright, let's go in here. Pay 50 shiny objects to access this area. And we have 50. Okay, you need a golden spatula. We need 10. So can we go here? Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Alright. Let's read the sign here. <clears throat> this is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces like this. <laughs> SpongeBob! <laughs> Lost all his underwear. Can we start uh, all over again? SpongeBob may get back underwear. He has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. Start out wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special parts of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which if found it will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Pretty much like his health. Uh, can check how many pairs. All right. Fresh like lost an underwear. Breeze. Go right here. Can we open up these things or? No, we cannot. Right, so we just read that one. Let's read this one. SpongeBob may jump by pressing X. Uh, press X while SpongeBob is emitted to double jump. A double jump for extra height, but SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. All right, so pretty much. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Sounds good. Can we open up this door? Change room. What? Oh! Super combo! I probably shouldn't have broken that because that might actually help me come here. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know if I was supposed to break that. So, see how well SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game. Uh, when a level is selected, press X to view its details. When the detail is view, uh, is open, move right on the left. Okay. And on the golden spatula, the SpongeBob knows about by pressing X. When the hit for the golden spatula is selected, SpongeBob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. So pretty much fast travel. Okay. Press triangle when on the ground. The bubble bash attack. The bubble bash attack and smash keys or robots or push buttons. They're directly above SpongeBob. 
when you see this action button, uh, this icon, SpongeBob can stand on it, uh, do the bubble bash attack, and break the tiki's directly above him. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Pushing a simple oh. button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Oh, okay. I see. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> That's all I had to do. I see. This is where I keep all my old comic books. That makes a lot of sense. There's a sock right there, by the way. Can I push this? Break these things here. Cha -ching! Okay, so we've got one of Patrick's socks. Maybe we can actually hit that. Oh, I see. Okay, we've got 25 seconds Oh my god. All right, here we go. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I think we've read all of the signs as well. So the bubble bounce attack. Okay, we read that as well. Okay. But we're good. Now we're done here. Now we're headed into this one. This is where the golden spatula is. <laughs> Look at all of his clothes. <laughs> Okay, so this is the golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. Uh, SpongeBob will need to collect golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the ramping, uh, rampaging robots. What about my clothes? Do I do anything with... Nope. Okay. Just gonna keep going here. I guess we can get out of here now. We are in the kitchen. Okay, so there are shiny objects. We've already done this. I think this is where you save. A note from Mr. Krabs. Or not. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow, a promotion! That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. So is that like that's a different actor, um, not actor, different voice actor than the original Mr. Krabs? Did anything happen to the original one? Like, I don't know. I haven't really looked up into that. But SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing R2. Okay, we've already seen that. I actually forgot to even look at that. That was part of the beginning. So now we just gotta get out of here. Awesome. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the voice actor of Mr. Krabs. Ah, there was nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Isn't it freaking hilarious how the main villain of SpongeBob is like a plankton? <laughs> a literal plankton. Ow, shoot! Okay, so that hurts. Um. How do I. Ow! Ah! Frickin'. Hey, 
SpongeBob. I just dropped by to give you a bubble. Oh, the bubble buddy. Bubble buddy. I remember you see, that. You're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. <laughs> uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! All right. Nice. All right, so we can also get rid of this. And then we've got the bubble. Okay, that's a stomp. That's Patrick. That's his house. Squidward. Squid. Squidward. Squid. Squidward. Squidward. Okay, reminder to activate this button. Okay. Oh, what the heck? I mean, like, where do I even go? <laughs> what? That's Mr. Krabs. I don't know where I'm going right now. Hold on. Okay, reminder to activate this. That's Patrick's. Guys, what is going on here? Oh, I see. Okay, so I'll focus on that later. For now... I'm just trying to see where the heck I gotta go. That's a taxi. We can't go this way. It shines. I mean, honestly, I've never played this. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to my friends here. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. <laughs> oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. All right, so I've got two already. I got to bring them ten. Talk to crabs. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. <laughs> I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. All right, so I just got to return that. They're just there for me to return things to them. So this is where we go to when we have five spatulas. Right now, we've only got one. Where do we go to when we have one? I guess we go here. Right? Right. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's see. I've never played this. So I don't know if I could have just kept going straight. Or if I got to call on the taxi to go somewhere fast travel. It seemed like the jellyfish field would have been just perfectly fine, though. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Ah. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. <laughs> and you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <coughs> oh my god. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. 
<laughs> I'll stay here. Balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Alright, so we're gonna help uh we're gonna help Squidward. The guy that hates us the most. He hates us because we make awesome Krabby Patties. I love opening presents. All right. This is actually really cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought I was being attacked by... So we can pretty much hit everything with our little wand. So this is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can swim. Cannot swim. How can they not swim? They're in... We're in the water. How can we not... I guess because it's goo. That's actually quite hilarious. So this is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Oh. Kind of like a fast travel mechanism, right? Okay. Go ahead and get all these shiny objects. Got a nice Jelly little underwear here. I'm going Thank you. I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, what is this? Can we jump up here? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. This is such a happy game, dude. <laughs> I'll jump up here. Oh, crap. <gasps> oh, my God. Hold on. So what happens? How do I... Is the only way to get, like, health through the underwear? Is there any way where I can get, like... A hundred of these shiny things like and then I get an sponge. underwear for it? Kind of like almost every other game that does the same thing? Maybe not. Okay, so I'm gonna see. Oh, God. All right, hold on. Oh, God! There we go. <clears throat> so we need 125 to cross the bridge. I see how this works. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this underwear over here. Fresh like a spring breeze. I mean, I'm guessing it's better to collect as many as possible. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Super combo, monster combo. Another fine for Patrick. Excuse me, robots. Not here to play games. I'm here to save my good old pal Squidward. 125 shiny objects. Wait, there's a plane underwater. What? Is there a way to run faster here? I don't think there is, huh? Love opening presents. There's not a way to run faster. That sucks. What does that do? Let me read. This is a freeze, uh, freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use a freezy fruit. Okay. So we also get to play with other characters, not just SpongeBob. I think they showed off. They showed it off in the trailer, but I don't remember. But I guess that's what that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can jump up here. Yes, I can. And we'll smash this. Okay, here we go. I don't think there's a timer on these barrels. Got another sweaty hey, sock for Patrick. Patrick needs to do laundry. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, no! Shoot! Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Gotta be careful here. Do not get squashed by whatever the heck that is. Is that like a puffer fish? <laughs> That's supposed to be a puffer fish?
Oh, that's actually quite hilarious. Wow, that's quite the strong arm you got there, SpongeBob. Hey, Gary, what's taking? Meow, meow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. All right, let's see. We got an underwear right here. I think we need a. No, we do not need underwear. How about this? Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Ooh. Push, 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 push. Look at this. Oh! Stupid robot. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Checkpoint. How do we get rid of those? How do we get rid of that? Um, are we even going the right way? Ah! Wasn't that bad. Well, hello there, little buddy. Are we supposed to? No? Okay. I mean, I got a checkpoint. I want to say I'm probably going the right way. And we also need underwear. Okay. Let's go up here. Get rid of this robot. Thank you, sir. Is that another underwear? Yes. Hold on. But I think I'm supposed to go up here. Am I? Okay, hold on. I'm a little lost. Got an underwear right here. Like a new sponge. Okay, so SpongeBob needs to know how to bubble bowling before in order to. Okay. I will be honest. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of confused as to where I gotta go. Okay, we just came from here. Or did we? Maybe not. This reminds me of like a Crash Bandicoot game, but SpongeBob edition. I don't know. Does that make sense? There we go. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick cannot swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. This is not goo. That is water, damn it. Oh, crap. Okay, I think we're going the right way now. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it all boys. Oh Okay, maybe maybe I can find a more suitable underwear than this. Fresh like a spring Ooh. breeze. Yes. And I fell. I love opening presents. Now we've got both of the boxes open, so that means... Oh, crap! That means we can travel the other way now. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> oh, what? Hey! Just... Leave me alone. Okay, we've got the golden spatula. Perfect. Second golden spatula. We keep going through here. Travel to the jellyfish caves. Oh. Mermaid man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. Hey, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? 
Where's Barnacle Boy? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! All right, let's do this. Got a box to open here. Uh, so this is a slide with SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy jump into a slide. Zip down the slope. Oh my God. <laughs> this is fucking tongue. What? <laughs> what is this? That was a tongue. What the hell? I should put it in sometime. It shines. All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. All right. So you need to go to Patch to help him out, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. You have to battle through. Okay. Do I have all my underwear with me? I do not. I feel like a new sponge. Ow. Fresh like a spring breeze. Not very nice of you guys. Come on. All right, so. Gotta get rid of all the robots first. Yes, sir. So are these the things that are creating the robots, those machines? I think it is, right? Yes, they are. Oh, crap. Like a new sponge. All right, here we go. Aya! My name is SpongeBob SquarePants. I am like a 40-year-old virgin without a driver's license. In reality, he's a pretty damn old dude if you really think about it. I mean, he's, he was already a man when I was a kid. A How old is SpongeBob? Like push, 40 or push, something? Push, push. Maybe not that much, but maybe. Who knows? I just know he's pretty old. This is a very relaxing game. Coming from The Last of Us, this is just very relaxing. Hey, SpongeBob. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Were you back at your house like maybe 20 minutes well, ago? What are you, what are you even doing here? Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> We're playing with Patrick now. That's awesome. So let's see what it, what what does the watermelon throw a fruit? Okay, so Patrick can pick up a throw a fruit and throw them. Uh, press circle, pick up a nearby throw a fruit, then press it again to throw it. Push destroy tiki's. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Wait a minute. Oh. So he hits you with his belly. Patrick can also pick up throw tiki's, but not only tiki's that uh, but not only tiki's that don't have other tiki's stacked on top of them. Oh, I see. Oh crap! Wanna pick up this fruit? Swap characters, really? Are you kidding me? That's pretty cool. This is a bus stop. You may switch between uh, SpongeBob or playing as Patrick. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna go back to Patrick. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let me pick this up. No, not not a cannonball, Patrick. Damn it! Pick up the damn. Nice. All right. 
So I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Wait, what? So this is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it will go boom. Don't get near it. Play as a whistle. Uh-oh, this one goes boom. Hey, you barnacle head. Watch where you're going. The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish <laughs> Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help <laughs> defeat the robots and get me back into the sand bucket. <coughs> well, then will you? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. Oh God! So if you jump in the air, press will slam down on the ground. We're going into the cave. Ooh, uh, have we forgotten all about Squidward? Cave. Okay, we've got this. All right, let's get this. Ooh, up we go. Oh, we can throw it twice. Uh oh, that doesn't look too good. What does the sign say? Pretty much exactly what we did. Oh, it's pretty easy. Okay, we're probably gonna need SpongeBob for that. Or not, I don't know. Okay, what does this do? Throw. Checkpoint reached. Oh God. Uh oh. <clears throat> I don't know why they're giving me these fruits here though. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I think I know why. Nope. That, yeah, that's not why. Very won. nice. I also like how the shiny things follow you. They're kind of like magnetic towards you. you not to go looking for them or anything like that. Very cool. Okay, here we have the fruit again. So Patrick can also jump on the fruit to get higher places. He may stack throw fruits uh, as well as by throwing them on top of one another. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, but... Perfect. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. So throw it. And throw it. Thankfully, the game actually aims for you. You don't have to worry about any of that. Oh, here we go. Another slide. Catch me some underwear. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, no, you can't touch that. Oh. Oh, crap. So shiny. That's much better. All right, nice. That actually wasn't even that bad. Okay, so this is a freezy fruit. Pick up uh, the freezy fruit and throw it at the... Uh, freezy fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Actually, you can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Oh, 
Pretty cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so if Patrick belly flops near robots, he can damage or stun them. Hey, my back feels better. <laughs> my back feels better, he said. Oh, I see. What is this? So, for the robots. Sorry, guys. Patrick may even pick up the rope. Oh, really? Wow, I didn't know that. Good old Patrick here is pretty damn strong. Oh. <laughs> A robot go boom. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. God darn it. Okay. That's much better. Pick up the fruit and I you think carry a lot of stuff around. I think we can throw this over there. Or just pick up the robot itself. Oh. Maybe stun him. And then throw him over there. Wait as a whistle. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's actually pretty cool. Get rid of this. And get out of here. Sorry, guys. Uh, got some business to attend to. Got three underwear. Pretty good on health. I don't know how far this this freaking cave goes, but I feel like we've been going into the cave deeper and deeper and deeper for like a good 25 minutes already. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. All right, let's do this. Oh, what? Oh, we're getting new different enemies, like introduced to different types of enemies. Gotta be careful. Nah, he's not that bad. You're not that bad. How do I? Ooh, presents. Now we're gonna keep going straight. We don't need underwear right now, so it's not like we have to go and get these underwear. Well, I'd say we're still pretty good. Oh, look what it is. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island <coughs> stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show no All right, so is that like a side quest thing or? Let's see if we can go over here. That seems like a side quest thing. I wonder if I can... I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. Not going to get too crazy with it. Let me swap characters. Let's go back to SpongeBob. All right, here we go. So this is a Tiki. Uh, tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it you sneak gently or push the l2 button <laughs> what is the purpose of that 
god, that actually hurt me. Okay, we're good. It shines. Oh, we can go through here. Or not. All right. I thought we were able to go over there and get rid of that robot. Never mind. These are actually pretty easy to. Ooh, you never mind. Met the sponginator. I feel like a new sponge. I'm gonna see if I can go up through here. We need that underwear. I'm ready to fight this giant jellyfish, man. Fresh like a spring breeze. Tar -tar I love opening presents. <laughs> oh god too many of them We've got another box right here okay that's that's not a good idea that was not a good idea i feel like a new sponge Jump through here. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. What is that robot even throwing? Is it like milk or something? What is that? What are these stone? It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis. There we go. Like a spring breeze. Thank you for my underwear. Appreciate it. Dude, we've got 4,000 of these like shiny things. Hey, I get it. I feel like a new oh god. Oh my lord. That was a massive destruction. Alright, we need 150. We got plenty of those, honestly. We've got an abundance of those. What happens if you fall? You have to go all the way again? Oh, that would suck. Oh, that's a Patrick thing right there. We need to swap characters. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to swap characters right now. Yeah, this is definitely a Patrick area here. Could have probably swapped over to him. Get those watermelons too. Fresh like a spring breeze. And <laughs> yeah, we've got another box. Thank you. More underwear for me. Supercharged. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? No! I'm ready. Tar -tar -tar -tar. Oh. All right, good. We got past them. I feel like a new sponge. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just, just, just not even gonna try that. Oh man, what the heck? What am I supposed to do here? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Take that! I get it! Okay, I will touch the tiki. And it will blow all of them up. And I shall oh, reclaim my prize. Finally. Pretty sure we can't touch that water either. All right, that is a bus. We may need to use Patrick for this one. SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. Jump against the side wall and press. All right, so we we're actually probably supposed to use Patrick on the other one. And then this one switch over to SpongeBob. Or whatever. Yeah, we oh, there's a golden spatula right there. Hold on. Thank you. Five golden spatulas. All 
I think this has got to be it. This is the top of the mountain here. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. All right. You know, it's serious when they give you underwear right off the bat. We've got this. I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Uh oh, slap him. Uh oh. Yeah, how do I defeat him? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go get some more underwear. I feel like a new yeah. sponge. Oh, God. All right, so maybe when he's not full of electricity, I can hit him. Good. Slap him again. Oh, we've got ourselves a little bit of underwear here. Oh, he's pooping out jellyfish. Yeah, that's not ideal. Mr. Giant Jellyfish. I'm going to need you to relax. Come on, dude. Really? He's going to come down on me again. Nice. Finishing slap. One more slap. Every time I slap him, I get underwear. That's that's pretty. Oh, we got blue jellyfish. What, what does that do? Are they like more ferocious? Oh, no. I slapped him in the freaking tentacle. All right. No more water either. So how do we get down there? Do we just go through the drain or? Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, a box right here. You got to slide down here. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is cool. Bro, we've got so many of these little shiny things. Or so they call them in this game. Let's go. And we've got the uh, the box down there as well. Oh, look where it is. Lobster Larry. <laughs> See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go. What happens if we do? This is the exit. Okay, let me open up that box before we head out. So this means we pretty much finished it off. There we go. That's pretty cool. Very chill game. <laughs> There's Squidward. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Spatula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do we head out now? Do we go back? Bikini bottom. I don't know if I'll do another episode. I just really wanted to try it out. I might. I might not. It all depends. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, 
yeah, that's been SpongeBob SquarePants rehydrated. Um, I, I don't even know how to end this video, but thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys later.